Hi, this is Jilda Bonanno. Today's presentation skills tip is how not to introduce yourself at networking events. Whether you work for a company or you're self-employed, you're a small business owner, you're a corporate professional or a student, you have the opportunity to attend networking events. Whether these are sponsored by a company or a professional association, it basically involves you introducing yourself to a lot of people. So here are some things to avoid when you're introducing yourself. First of all, don't wing it. Don't wing it. Don't make it up on the spot. You want to prepare ahead of time what you're going to say, how you're going to say it. Because if you rely on winging it in the heat of the moment, you might end up mumbling or stumbling, having a lot of ums and ahs in your introduction, or saying something that on second thought was not quite appropriate for this audience. So don't wing it. Also, something else you should avoid is the lack of confidence. You want to make sure when you are introducing yourself that you come across as confident. Now, confidence is not cockiness or arrogance. That's very off-putting. But confidence means you believe that you're somebody interesting worth talking to. Because if you don't believe that, the other person that you're introducing yourself to surely is not going to believe it. So how do you demonstrate confidence? Quite simply, you stand up straight, shoulders back, head up, you smile, you make eye contact, you have a firm handshake, you make sure your voice is strong enough and loud enough to be heard easily, especially over the, the ambient noise that might be going on around you, and you project this air of confidence that is very interesting and intriguing to the other person. The third thing you want to avoid is the rambling introduction. This is where you introduce yourself by telling them everything you've done since you hit teenage years or since you graduated from high school. You know, first I did this, then I did this, I have this degree and this many years of experience and now I've done this and I've also done that. Boring. At this point, the other person has gone to sleep and they're looking desperately around the room for something else to claim their attention. So you don't want to ramble on and on and on. Good introduction, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. We don't want you going on and on. If the other person is interested, they will go ahead and ask for more. Oh, tell me about that. Oh, you, you mentioned you went to this college. What did you major in? Or, oh, you work for such and such a company. What's that like? Or how did you get into this field? So if they're interested, they're gonna prompt you and you'll be able to share more information. But don't start out with the, long and windy rambling story. The fourth thing you want to avoid is dominating the conversation. This is similar to rambling, but it becomes an introduction that leads you into the rest of your stories. And when the other person tries to jump in with who they are, or questions they might have, you run right over it and you take control of the conversation in a way that excludes them and becomes a monologue all about you rather than a dialogue about the both of you. Now, good networkers are actually good listeners. They ask good questions, and then they respond in short, succinct ways, and then they ask other good questions. So if you're a good listener, you're gonna be a good networker. So it's not all about you controlling and dominating the conversation and not letting the other person speak. And the final thing you should avoid is the, let's call it the slimy, I'm looking around for more important people, roving eyes syndrome. Now, we know at networking events that you are looking to see who else is in the room because that's why you're there. You want to introduce yourself. But please, while you're introducing yourself to the person in front of you, don't fall prey to the roving eyes syndrome. Give the person in front of you your full attention. Be respectful as you're introducing them. Make eye contact with them rather than searching for who else is in the room. Once you've had a chance to talk with that person for a few moments, it's perfectly fine to excuse yourself and say, now I know we need to, to meet other people. That's what we're here for. So it's been great talking with you. And then you move away and see who else you can speak to. But don't do that while you're introducing yourself. So if you avoid these common mistakes, your networking introduction will be much more effective and you'll be able to build professional relationships, which is what networking is all about. This has been Jilda Bonanno. 
For more tips, visit my website, www.jildabonano.com. Thanks for listening.